So in today's video, I'm sharing with you 10 trends to skip if you're over 40 and what to wear instead. One of the best things about being older and being over 40 or whatever the threshold might be is that you do start to care a little bit less every single year about what people think. You shine the brightest if you feel great in what you're wearing. I'll start with an easy one that not many people are gonna argue with is the micro short or pantless trend. I think this pantless trend works really well if you're Taylor Swift or Beyonce and you're on your concert tour and you're up on stage in a sequin leotard. I think it works really well. I have kids, have errands to run, a household to run, and so being in a very micro short that's showing my legs, my butt's hanging out, isn't going to be very functional for me and it's not gonna serve me or my lifestyle. Instead, a great way to not wear that trend but to kind of give it a nod is to wear a sheer skirt or a sheer dress over something that still gives that sole that shows off your legs but you're covered, it's sheer. For example, I just recently got this beautiful dress from Free People that you can see through it, but it's got a little slip and it looks so elegant and pretty. So the other way to wear a sheer trend is with a longer blazer. So having it be like a pretty lace skirt and then a longer blazer and maybe belting it. We've seen that a lot over the last few years. It's a very classic feminine look. It shows off your legs beautifully. The next trend that I'm gonna skip is mermaid core because this is just a little bit too extra for me. I do like sequins and kind of a gauzy look, but some of the elements like actual sea creatures seems a little bit out of touch with my lifestyle and kind of what I wanna project. For example, the Scarapelli show, there was a beautiful LBD that had like a lobster hanging from it and Again, it's art and it influences so much. So maybe I'll get a little pair of drop earrings that are lobsters or, but I'm not really inspired by mermaid core as a whole. Instead is 90 minimalism. So I think Carolyn Bissett Kennedy, really clean lines and extension of quiet luxury and those beautiful lines like Kate and the row. Wait, there's a lot of more affordable brands that you can accomplish those clean lines with. And so this 90s minimalism is a great canvas for accessories and also for capsule wardrobe so that getting dressed in the morning is so much easier. If you're over 40 or just have a very busy lifestyle and just don't wanna fuss with, you know, arranging your sea creatures for your accessories, it makes way more sense to embrace that trend. And a lot of us have these pieces in our wardrobe, white button down, wider trousers, beautiful blazers that are tailored, white t-shirts, loafers. And as an extension of that, with the blazer, however, one thing that is also very trendy are really oversized blazers that have a lot of volume. This is not that new, but it's still very, very prevalent. I feel like the voluminous silhouette has been really, really trendy since 2020. For all the COVID stuff and people started getting dressed again. I feel like people wanted to take up space and that's great. But for me, it's not that flattering. I am 5'4". And so I have a kind of a smaller frame and it just really overpowers me. Instead of a huge menswear type of blazer, one thing that I'm really loving is the crop trench. And I recently got one that was very affordable. And I it was one of those trends that I resisted for a long time. I didn't know if I was gonna really take to it. I tend to really love a classic trench coat and I still wear mine all the time. But I have loved the way that this looks with even jeans and maxi skirts. I think it just adds an, a layer of elegance. And also they're very trendy. <laughs> and number four, huge bags. So. I can appreciate huge bags. I travel a lot and I tend to always carry a really big bag with me as a carry-on to kind of stuff in anything that doesn't fit into my other carry-on or my other suitcase. And also being a boy mom, I have so much stuff I'm always carrying with me. And I also am kind of a slight hoarder. The large tote bags generally are something that my lifestyle has needed. Also, whether or not you're over 40, that really large silhouette just doesn't add any elegance or class. It tends to look a little bit frumpy or what always comes to mind is like the Mary Kane Olsen, like their pictures in the 90s where they're carrying these bags that are bigger than them and they looked even shorter than they actually are. Like, I don't want that look. So instead, I'm reaching for something like this. This is the Gigi New York shoulder bag and I really love it. They have it in a couple of different colorways, including a beautiful, rich chocolate brown with a gold handle. This one is in Bordeaux and burgundy is really trendy for 2024. I did an Instagram poll about which one to get and I really was torn because I love chocolate brown and gold, but I also love the Bordeaux because it reminds me of what I, we saw on the Gucci runways for spring, summer 2024 with all this gorgeous like polo shirts and the, and the mini skirts and the shift dresses and they were kind of carrying their bags like over their shoulders, kind of like thrown back like this. And I just thought it looked so chic and powerful. I love the idea of not being slowed down by your bag. 
I thought it was really a moment. It was one of my favorite shows from Milan Fashion Week last season. I have a 15% discount code site-wide if you're interested, Ziba15, and it's good through the end of March. So don't miss it. I think I'm gonna wear this on repeat. Okay, moving right along, I actually got this request from somebody asking me if I could show how to style socks and heels, and I thought about it for a long time. And I'm like, I don't know if that makes sense for me. I, I think I would look silly. I'm 44, don't feel old. I actually dress quite young at some points, but I just feel like this look, unless it's for like a photo shoot or something very, very much like an event or a moment, like a theme, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing socks and heels. To me, it just looks a little bit young. It doesn't quite click in my mind. Instead of this, what I am wearing are slingback heels, very much the shoe of 2024. It got started last year as well. Usually slingback heels have a kitten heel, which is another huge trend for 2024. And they're not only walkable, but they look elegant and you can wear them with so many different things like trousers, dresses, really the sky's the limit when it comes to those shoes. So you have that versatility and functionality. I think walking around in uncomfortable shoes is one of the biggest disservices that we can do to ourselves because you end up just hobbling around like Peggy Bundy did. The next trend that I'm skipping is leopard print and hear me out, I love leopard print. I have so much of it. I love it. I'm a mob wife, all the things. But now that mentally I'm over winter, even though it's not technically spring, I don't care to wear leopard print in the spring or summer. I'm emotionally over it at that point, even though it is very much a wardrobe staple and considered a neutral and all the good things. But I think a fresher print for a spring summer 2024 are roses. So roses are very much a thing. They were on the Simone Rocha runway. They've been on every runway, but that's the show that sticks out the most in my mind, whether it's Rosettes, the Scaparelli show, where she had the, the jacket made of roses. Everyone's had rosettes made of some sort. Having been to several New York Fashion Weeks and Paris Fashion Week, I love getting inspiration from the runways because even though we are not necessarily wearing what comes down the runway, this is really where all of the stuff that ends up on the racks and the shelves originates from. So a good way to incorporate that if you're into the actual three-dimensional rose is to add it to a blazer. Mango had a beautiful blazer that had a rosette that was very chic, or you can always just add it. Like every single retailer has like the choker that has a rosette that you can add to basically anything. But if you're not quite ready for a three-dimensional rose, rose print is beautiful and it's striking and it's so feminine. And even if you don't really love like pastels, I found a beautiful button down shirt, that black and white rose print that is gorgeous. I've totally overworn it. Recently took a trip. I went to Florida, Texas, and New York City, and I wore this shirt in every single state. Like I wore it everywhere. And so I'll make sure to link it below because it's still in stock. Floral print is beautiful. It's classic. It's so appropriate for any age group, but especially for women over 40, I think it makes us look elegant and very feminine and there's so many ways to incorporate it in your wardrobe without feeling like it's too fussy. For number seven, bows. One of the ways that I've tried to incorporate bows into my hair or, you know, I have a couple of tops from 2014, 2015 that have like a lot of bow accents on my sleeves and I've tried to revisit those. For the life of me, I can't be on board. I think it looks very pretty and Love Shack fancy and I really love the vibe of that brand, but to me, it just feels like I've been there, done that a little bit. I was a ballerina and I wore bows to last me for the rest of my life. So instead of bows, I think a really great trend to embrace is the micro fringe, which gives so much volume and fun. It's still ribbon at like there's still a ribbon involved. There's still like a ribbon esque type of vibe where there's movement just feels a little bit more sophisticated. I really love the layers. Like for example, there's maxi skirts that have a lot of fringe or even jackets that have fringe detail and feathers are i think are always kind of in nowadays i don't find myself not wearing that many feathers i feel like between fringe and feathers i end up more of a cowgirl than a swan so next we have the cargo look so cargo for whatever reason out of nowhere because i feel like it doesn't quite fit into mob wife it doesn't fit into quiet luxury it doesn't fit into mermaid core cargo cargo pants are fantastic because they're so easy to dress up or down and they're a great alternative to pants, especially in the warmer weather. And cargo pants can come in so many different versatile fabrics that they fit really well into a warmer climate. However, I, I'm not like super for like the all cargo look. With cargo jacket and pant and bag, you can really do it all. You can do a full cargo look. That look feels a little heavy to me. And so 
I recommend that you pick a cargo pant, whether that's jeans or just the pants. And depending on your personal style and other pieces in your wardrobe, you can really find the perfect cargo pants for you, whether that is a cargo pant that has a ton of pockets, which makes it sportier, or a jogger satin pant that you can dress up easier with stilettos. I have a whole video dedicated on different ways to style the cargo pants, so make sure to check that out. And now we have the micro minis. They're kind of related to the pantless trend, but we're still talking about a hemline and actual dress. So instead of a micro mini, which can look so great on so many people, I rather embrace the maxi full skirt that is elegant and versatile, comfortable. Like you never feel like you are showing too much or you're you know, wondering if something is hanging out. It really is like almost like you're in a, like in a nightgown and it can be so elegant. It's so easy to in the summer to wear espadrilles or cowboy boots and have a very chic and comfortable summer vibe. So I love the maxi skirts and I love all full skirts, especially if they have the twirl, I am signed up for it if they do. Another trend that I'm skipping is kind of the galvanized corset type of look that looks again, great in concerts and also at award shows, but day-to-day -day life having something stiff that feels like a corset. It's just something that I do not want to incorporate into my lifestyle lately. And instead of this, a polo shirt is classic, timeless, comfortable. It goes with almost any single type of bottom. Instantly elevates your outfit. It makes it look like you have pulled it together because it's not quite a button down shirt. You don't have to button and not necessarily tuck it, but that collar just makes it a little bit preppy. Polished preppy is very trendy for 2024. Grown up version of polished preppy is more like country club and sophisticated elements like sweater vests, button downs, polos, pleated skirts, tailored blazers, ballet flats, loafers. I'm here for all of it. Very easy to incorporate that into almost any type of aesthetic that might be in your wardrobe. I think you can tell I'm super excited for spring to come. So make sure to check out 10 different winter to spring wardrobe essentials that you need to make the transition. If you had fun with me today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you really soon.